we have seen the hunger of a member with regards to learning learning newer and futuristic things which gave us lot of confidence in ai in icai also the president and vice president were equally amazed and satisfied that people in this large numbers are keen on learning new things friends hackathon was a subject which was a talk of town and many people were confused that what is this hackathon why institute is doing such types of hackathon but today due to hackathon the adoption of ai has gone to a ground level even the smallest cities smallest chartered accountant a proprietor or a small partnership firm are using the use cases given by our hackathonist now friends the time has come to move toward the last panelist so i will request amita shinoy our eminent panelist to please present his use case and this is our season 2 ai use cases in tax audits over to you amita with a round of applause thank you sir a very good evening everyone i am ca amit shinai your ai avatar from bengaluru i use ca chat gpt version and chat gpt 4 version in my day to day life i began my ai journey just previous month since then my primary focus is on creating automations on various works like in tax audit or a statutory audit or in valuation segment or in secretarial practice for this for this each segment i just spend some time and try to figure out how automations can be possible how and how to accumulate those various prompts uh, various instructions in one particular database so that next time for next assignment if you, if you want to use same uh, level of prompts it is easy so that we, we need not waste our time so far i have developed more than 10 plus prompts for performing statutory audit work now i would like to speak on how ai can be effectively used in tax audit this is the 360 degree view on how automations are possible in tax audit right from engagement letter level till documentation for example for drafting engagement letter automation is possible then for performing audit we need tax audit program and as per code of ethics for every assignment there has to be a an audit program including for tax audit not only for statutory audit hence it is important to have an audit program even for tax audit then for tax audit checklists many people are of the view that the clauses 44 clauses what are there in tax audit that itself is a checklist and there is no need of checklist actually it is not so we need to have a checklist even for tax audit then a can be also used to perform various data entry works in tax audit form like for example for drafting i mean for updating the clause on employees contribution on pf and esi suppose if a assessee has got 84 branch and they have got 800 900 plus entries in those cases we can use this ca chat gpt or chat gpt versions to get the data entry works easily done through this chat gpt then chat gpt can be also used for reviewing various complex workings and disallowances that we come across in tax audit and income tax computation for example if you have some if you have if you have done some let's say depreciation as per it act we have done we want a to review that 
so we can just take a print screen just a uh, just a print screen of that and we can paste it to chat gpt so that will give us the output as to whether your working is correct there can be certain complex matters in depreciation in those cases also it will help us then suppose let us say we have some qualifications in 3ca 3cd form there there are certain issues we want to know the formats for how to qualify certain aspects for those cases as well we can use this chat gpt we can just tell the context what is our exact issue based on that it can give us the right qualification then also let us say we are not aware of income tax sections but by practice we are good in that we know what what exactly these deductions are we have a lot of disallowances we are also interested in updating the section number we want to know under which section this is disallowed let us say pf disallowance tds disallowance or preliminary expense disallowance we want to know if you if you just update if you just take the screenshot of your income tax computation without the name of the company and if you just paste it to chat gpt it will give you the desired answers and you can give further instructions if you are not happy with the answers what you have got you can say i want in tabular form this is not okay read correctly and come back you can guide it properly so that it can produce a good result then also documentation documentation is part of the tax audit to do this documentation we we, we, we along with our tax audit workings we also want engagement letters tax audit programs all these things so as peer review is mandatory for all the cs all the cf cfms now so for those things our chat gpt will help us then form 3cd we can fill it by subscribing to tools like winman or any other tools and most of the questions it comes it is interlinked to our income tax computation and then for other things we there will be xml there will be excel utilities using that we can update our form 3cd then management representation letter for mrl also we can use chat gpt now i will give a live demonstration of how this ca chat gpt can be used to generate three things in one go that is engagement that is engagement letter next one is tax audit program next one is tax audit checklist and mrl how this three four things can be completed in one go including the name of the assessee the signing partner name each and everything is my excel file visible sir yes yeah for example now this is my chat gpt paid version this is my in detail excel template so i have created excel templates for each prompts so this is exclusively for tax audit like this i have similar template for statutory audit including for audit reports and other matters for example this is my template i will give the basic details which are required for updating mrl engagement letter and other audit checklists and audit program those information which forms part of your output those details are filled here and i am telling chat gpt what are the outputs i want and i am telling i am i am giving guidance to it from where you can pull the input details and give me the desired output and i and i am also telling chat gpt give me the word files for format based outputs and give me the excel files for works like tax audit checklist tax audit program for these matters and i am also giving additional instructions these instructions are given based on the wrong outputs what i have got so based on those things i have given certain additional instructions like for example print on the letter head or again signature it it comes with brackets i don't want those works to be again done manually i want chat gpt to everything with regard to those forms which are format in nature basically basically all this data entry works to the possible extent i want to use chat gpt for example now 
I will give my instructions to ChatGPT. This is my request. Can you do this? All this all these questions, instructions I have copied so that next time we need not waste our precious time. Now I will take a print screen or I will take I will just copy it. This chat GPT likes image-based inputs. Even if you just paste it here, it will convert into image-based. You can make out using that. The answers what you get by updating the image-based inputs is better than what you upload through attachments through this tab, through this link. Final two minutes remaining. Yeah, sure. This is validating our inputs, including the audit fees, financial year, name of the selling partner, membership number, everything it is, it is coming. You can also put UDN number and give space so that even that will also come along with the output. This memory updation is very important. You can also upload, let's say you are so many, you have got so many formats. You can upload them in one stroke. And later, if you just fill this kind of Excel templates and say that, please consider these inputs and prepare MRL. Please consider these inputs and prepare audit report like that. If you give instructions, it will do the things on its own. The input, the output, what we get that we have to just review to ensure that it is perfect. Sorry, everyone, it's already eight o'clock. Sorry, I'll just complete in one or two minutes. So here the draft engagement letter is ready. So I will tell where is MRL. Sometimes if, if the if the questions are too much, it will it will it doesn't like. So you can give standalone one by one requirements also. In this template, I clubbed three, four requirements. Hence, it is taking little time. Sometimes we'll also get some generic formats and hence it is better if, if you want output also to come including client name, everything, it is better you download the, the formats from the relevant tabs and upload them and just fill your this Excel sheet and paste it here, you'll get the better output so that you will get rid of these generic outputs. It's going on. Similarly, I will tell you for PF and ESI, let us say we've got 10, 15 branches. You just paste these things here and, and, and attach your PF challenge of 10, 12 months or whatever, whatever months and, and, and request it to give the output in this way. It gives you an output. This is one more tool. Then similarly for watching of sales, watching of purchases, for these items also, if you just upload your purchase invoice files or sales invoice files, you can get the watching part done. It will read all the invoices. Uh, time is over. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Amit, for the beautiful use case. And you have very nicely represented that how chat GPT can be used, uh, giving the clauses of uh, our tax audit and uh, how to draft the documents relating to the tax audit. Yes, under peer review, under the ICI guidelines, working papers need to be maintained, letter of management representation and checklist and other things. So thank you, Amit, for uh, giving your use case to us.